Hello, this is Bill from Bill's Workbench. I wanted to give you an update on all the Broxon stuff. Uh, it's probably going to be a long rambling video because I didn't script it, but that's okay. Uh, down below I am going to put chapters on there so you can skip ahead to different things. But I wanted to let you know what was going on with the Proxons and my journey with rotary tools. And I will say that these are the best ones. If you're, gonna, if you're looking for one, just buy these and be done with it. I have used the uh, Ryobi. Um, I've used the Dremel, as you've seen, which is this one I reversed. I do have a video on that. You can find it on the channel. And, um, yeah, the Ryobi, not so much. It doesn't have any torque. Same with the Dremel that does stepping for the speed. Where the Proxons, they have a lot of torque and their variable speed which makes a big difference that's why i like that's why i like this one with the variable speed but using it now for a couple years i really like it the cord does not get in the way at all i thought it would but it does not they're very comfortable to use lots of control the collet system is pretty good um the only gripe i had if you've been watching the videos is i wish i had the um three dot chuck to that which i picked up one so i'm going to be talking about that towards the end of the video so i have the uh big main unit that you plug into the dc power and i and the sander these are the two that i purchased proxon was nice enough to send me um the screwdriver and the cordless one as well as a bunch of attachments as well and the vise to put it in. I love the screwdriver. I probably use the screwdriver the most. I like it because it's quiet, it's got a lot of torque, and it's not very, it's, you know, it's a, it's a great drill as well as a screwdriver. It's more of a, I use it more of a drill than a screwdriver, but it's wonderful. I really like this thing. It does have the, uh, the clutch on it as well, so you can adjust that. Uh, great tool. Well worth it. Proxon screwdriver. The MS1. MIS1. The cordless. I'm amazed at the battery life on this thing. I think I've charged this thing twice since I've had it. I use it for when I do my wire brush work now. And the reason I like this setup for the wire brush is because I can just set it here to the left the way the things spin, they spin in a in counterclockwise, which means that as I grab a car and start wire brushing it, all the crap is going to get blown away from me because it's on my left side. And I've got both hands to use in order to clean this up, and it's nice and small. So this has been really great. I really like this setup. Um, yeah, wonderful. Easy to take this in and out. I did modify it and put in a, um, a little... Uh, thumb screw here so you can take this out if you'd like put it back in makes it easy so if you just have the one device which most people probably would uh, adding this little thumb screw really makes it easy so yeah bottom line get these tools they're wonderful they're much better than the Ryobi the Ryobi I had was the same one that Marty has no torque even though the unit itself was very small because all the motor and everything was in the other spot, you can see the picture here, that that cable contraption they used to, to get the for the for the wand, it's it's this is much better. It it's too it's not it's it's unwielding. It's not fun. Okay? The only challenges I've had, the only problems I've had with the Proxon is with the sander, which you probably saw the video on, on me fixing that. It wasn't a difficult fix. I just had to uh, clean up the end here that does the vibration and reattach it and, and lubricate it up. And it's been working just fine ever since. So yeah, this has been good too. All right. The system, the call-it system for this. The Proxons, they use a smaller diameter tool than the Dremel and everyone else in the world. So you can see the difference here in the diameter of the, of the two pieces. They use a different diameter tool. It's a smaller thing. When you get the Proxon, you do get a bunch of different collets that you can use. And there is a collet that fixes the larger diameter. So you can use all the old tools that you had before. It's not that big of a deal to change the collet. You just 
unscrew this part, change the collet, back in and away you go. I did however, one of my gripes is, is when I bought this I wish I would have bought the one with the chuck on it. So I bought, you can buy just the chuck and put it on there. They're like $10 for the chuck. And the way that goes on is this is the way it comes out of the package. I bought another one for this unit. So you get this package here, three jaw chuck. You leave the collet in there. So I left the larger collet in and then you just screw the screw this in and it does its thing. So now I can attach the Proxon size tools or the Dremel size tools quick and easy and fast. You can order this with the chuck or with the collet system. You know, now that I've seen how easy this is and I've used them both, I would probably order with the collet system and then order the chuck separately. Then you can swap back and forth. It gives you the Van Halen of rotary tools, the best of both worlds. So that's the way I would go if I were doing it again. Would I get the cordless over this? This one is easier to wield. Um, it's it the weight distribution is much better. It's easier to use. It's easier to be more precise with this one. This one is is handy. I can take it anywhere I want. The battery lasts forever, but it's heavy. Uh, it's not as balanced as this one. So if you're just going to use it on your workbench, I'd buy the one with the with the cable, the 12 volt version, and get the power supply. I have the larger power supply. Proxon was smart enough, was sm nice enough to send me that as well. Here's the uh, the photo of it. So yeah, uh, yeah, I've converted. I really like their products. I will probably only buy these products from now on. They're wonderful. Haven't had any problems with them knock on wood and I would highly recommend that you invest in these if you're looking for a new rotary tool or a drill or a sander yeah there you go thank you Proxon for your help on this and I hope you check them out I went ahead and ordered some more pieces which will be probably in the next video or the video after that from Proxon I ordered those um, they uh, I paid for those myself they came in about four days um all the way from north carolina to las vegas so the shipping is very quick uh just get it from the proxon direct you can get all the good stuff the prices are better than that in, in amazon or, or anywhere else so yeah just get it right from there or if you have a local hobby place that carries it buy it from there it's even better all right thank you for watching i hope you learned something on this if you have any questions leave it in the comments below i'll be happy to answer those comments and uh if any of those comments warrant, say, another video, I'll make a video answering those comments. So have fun.